Hey everybody, Bungsy here with another ultralight review on ultralight backpacking. Back in 2007, I recommended Patagonia's Capoline lightweight performance boxers over almost everyone's favorite ex officio brand. Uh, check out the video if you want the full breakdown as to why I've thrown the link up above. Patagonia has since refreshed their sports boxer line. They're still a favorite of mine, don't get me wrong, but they're no longer the favorite. Care to meet them? Folks, my new favorite would be the Nike Pro Shorts. Technically, they refer to them as a base layer shorts, not underwear or boxers. Uh, let me kick this off by saying that not everything we um, buy needs to be from one of our beloved outdoor brands. The challenge, though, I find with mega brands like Nike is that they don't fall in love with any of their products. On more than one occasion, I've gone to put together a video for you guys recommending a product by a company like Nike, only to find out that after one release, it's no longer being made and you guys come running uh, when you can't find them. That being said, these boxer briefs have been on the shelf for a few years now, so hopefully they'll still be there for you. But don't sleep on this recommendation. Their availability is also quite seasonal and summer is coming to an end. Uh, they are designed to keep you cool and dry, so they are more easily found in spring and summer. Even now, their availability in certain sizes is limited, depending on where you look. I've included a link down below for you. Anyways, getting back to the briefs. First off, they provide great support. They have a much, much better cut than Patagonia or Ex Officio sports briefs, which both leave a little bit to be desired. They also don't ride up your thighs. As I discussed in my original video, the ex officio stretch out and ride up if you have thicker legs like me. The Patagonia do not ride up. Um, they keep their elasticity and stay put much better. But the Nike, Nike ones, um, they one up the Patagonia with a much better cut. Here's the deal. Nike perfectly walks the fine line with these shorts between boxer briefs and compression shorts. They do not fit like compression shorts, and that's a good thing. Wearing compression shorts for days on end would get old. There's no way I'd sign up for that. Way too tight and constricting. And yet, these Nike Pro shorts are more supportive than typical boxer briefs, including ex officios and Patagonias. They're snugger, but not as snug as compression shorts. It's a critical point here. Many of these brands, including Nike, make compression shorts. From afar, they all look the same, but be warned, they're far from it. Moving on, the Nike Pro Shorts also breathe really well as they're designed for warm temps, though that feature makes them my go-to even in cold temps. Breathable is good 365 days a year if you ask me. I don't need any extra heat trapped down yonder. The material has little holes, as you can hopefully see in the video. It's a very loose weave, plus they have these extra perforated panels on the sides. As a result, besides breathing really well, they're also really light and they dry very quickly. There's very little material to hold on to moisture of any kind to begin with. Uh, my size mediums weigh 2.68 ounces on my scale, so they're light. By the way, I also like the waistband. Um, it sits flush, so nothing bulks up under your pant waistband and presses on you. And it's designed, its design prevents it from absorbing any moisture, as again, I hope you can see. So grab a pair. Link in the video description below before Nike moves on to something else for absolutely no good reason except to annoy us. But again, remember that Nike makes countless, I mean truly countless, various underwear and compression short options that come and go through every season. Don't assume they are all the same because they're not. I've tried them. The design and benefits I've run through are unique to this pair alone. Well, that's all the time I need and I hope I gave you something to think about. As always, please help me grow the show by hitting the like button and clicking on the Bungsy logo footing on the screen to subscribe if you haven't already. It helps me a ton. Thanks, and I'll catch you on my next ultralight review on ultralight backpacking.